That's right. Uh, got a fever. I'm feeling lethargic. And every time I threw up, it was just kept on building up and I couldn't sit up straight. I had to lay down. Quite excited actually. We have been waiting for nearly a month. Let's see how things go. I also heard that it only takes like 35 minutes to get the whole thing done. 28th of May, now about 3, uh, 3 pm. It's going to take my first jet to IDCC, Shah Alam. Clearly, I'm slightly nervous, but I suppose you know the point is to get vaccinated, and it is in fact, you know, in my view our responsibility to get vaccinated as soon as possible. A friend of mine told me that there's a few QR codes that you need to uh, scan once you get there. So make sure that your phone battery is full and you know, you've got some shows saved on there or whatever. All right, so there really is just like ample parking spot here. Uh, but this is during the weekend, so I don't know how it is during the weekday. Parking was quite um, in abundance, so they have to worry, they have to come way too early um, to get the parking because they have appointment system. So done the clearing process, I'm going out first. Jeff is still at the security area. So we've just arrived at uh, Samui Putra Mall. We parked there. Now we are both walking on foot to PWTC. Yep. So, AWTC, sorry. So see you guys in there. stairs from the parking and then there's a QR code that you have sign. In our consent form and this is how the seating looks like. There's not much people yet. So my time is at 4 and Zachary is at 4.30. Have your IC prepared. Then you come into this huge hall. Okay. <coughs> Come to B registration. Hi sir. Hi. Uh, can open the appointment sir? Oh yeah. Okay, almost my turn soon. That's what's happening inside. <laughs> really fast you go in you sign a few forms you sign the consent form and then you go get your shot and then they send you off to the observation area for about 15 minutes you rasa macam kena macam jentik dengan budak 3 tahun betul tak serius i'm not kidding okay my mine was fine and i mean okay breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in okay guys we have done our vaccination for those one all right you guys, bye bye. Hardly felt um, the needle came into my my arm. Um, so yeah, there's nothing to be afraid about really. Uh, if you have needles, you don't have to be worried. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. I follow until. Oh, okay, oh, that was it. Okay, that was quick. It was also quick. Really efficient. Really impressed by how everything went. It was so smooth the whole process. Like I don't get why people just don't sign up for the thing. It's like absolutely painless. Even the shot. You don't even realize you're getting shot until you know it's in you but even then you don't really feel anything and it's done within like a few seconds the staff were very polite they explained to me very well on um, what to expect and then they you know, asked about my, my medical history and allergies and so on and so forth so yeah um, well let's see what happened after this they're gonna do your second vaccination so anything they're gonna update you in your my schedule there Right. Please keep the form and the card together and please bring it along for your second vaccination later. Right? So no question you can leave now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
So, hi guys, um, it's been roughly 12 hours. So, I don't think I have a slight fever right now, but uh, by then, da, start the da. Now I'm feeling mm, quite um, lethargic. The fever pretty much just persists throughout the day. And there's also some slight body aching, but nothing too serious. Mm, it, I don't feel headache, no fever. The feel is like just recover from the mum from fever. That's all. So far, okay. It's not that bad. I mean, I'd rather go through this than actual COVID and, you know, having to be put on to like a, um, a respirator and everything. So I just popped down two tablets of Pendol. So yeah. I think it's close to 24 hours. Yeah, close to 24 hours since I had the vaccine. And uh, it's right, uh, got a fever. Morning, I felt much better after I had breakfast. Headache, fever, joint pain a bit. Like. I had some nausea last night, so really bad vomiting. Um, it was like projectile vomiting. So that one, um, I vomited like four times last so, night. Just to be safe, I'm still staying home. Uh, and I'm making porridge. So yeah. It's been two days, so 48 hours since uh, the injection. Feeling a lot better. It's just the, the lethargy, that one is just getting a bit to me. I feel good as new. I feel great. I've been listening to the doctor. He said uh, three days of not doing anything, so I did that. feel today this condition is much better and uh, feel normal already. I no longer feel feverish. Um, aching or things like that. The uh, injection site is slightly sore still, but um, that's apparently is a normal um, effect. Um, but really nothing much to be worried about. Um, it feels like, yeah, like a very light cold uh, or when you're recovering from it. Other than that, I think it's gonna be okay. It's, it's a lot better going through this than, you know, being stuck on a respirator. So hopefully, by tonight, everything will be a lot better, and by tomorrow, I'll be back to 100%. Okay, cheers.